swimmers, welcome back to this episode of the Swim Vice Pro Series. Today's episode is on Bobby Finke's 1500 meter freestyle event, highlighting his 4B kick. There are a couple of underwater shots that I will be emphasizing during his 4B kick so you can see how he's executing it within his form. Now, before we get started, if you are serious about improving your freestyle technique or your swim practice, be sure to hit the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner as I post videos every week to help with your swim practice. Okay, so you can see here that he holds a 4B kick throughout the entire event. So I'm going to play this through and then I'm going to freeze it at a point that I want you to see. So you can see here there is a dominant kick within that 4B pattern and that is right about here. So he's about to kick down with his left foot, his top of his left foot down, kicking from his hips. And you can see right there that dominant left leg kick after he takes a breath. Also within this freeze frame, you can see he's kicking down with his right leg as he's breathing. And you can see that it's from his hip. You don't see any knee bend. You see it's from the top of his foot and his hip kicking down. So a four beat kick is four kicks per stroke cycle. A stroke cycle is one left arm and one right arm hand entry all together. So as you see here again, and another length, a little bit more of a close up, you can see this four beat kick pattern again, slowed down. And you see that dominant kick with his left leg. So right here, he's finished that left kick down and you can see the top of his foot and his hip is what has kicked down versus from his knee. And you can see his right foot is about to prep to kick down as well. So that's what I mean by a hip driven kick is that it's from the top of your foot and your hip combined kicking down, eliminating the knee bend. So here's a quick replay again. So it's kick one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So you see that fourth kick is a very dominant hip driven kick uh, when it happens when it's connected to his breath. All right, Summers, that's it for today's quick highlight video of his four beat kick. If you're interested in learning more about kick timing, be sure to sign up for our mailing list at www.swimvice.com as I have something exciting launching this year to my email list first. All right, Summers, enjoy your practice and I will see you all next week.